with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. All right, so I thought I'd start you off with a super cute picture here. And you thought you had a bad morning, right? Look at this little hummingbird got caught in the rain this morning. David Haddock sent in this picture. He said, yeah, the little hummingbird was soaking wet, but still managed to find his way to my feeder. So a cold and wet breakfast. I'm kind of thinking like, cream of wheat, hot cup of coffee would have worked a lot better. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a hummingbird all soaking wet and all fluffed up like that. Poor thing. Thank you, David, for taking the time to send that in. By the way, weather at kgun9.com, great way of getting your pictures on our air. If you capture something you think is kind of cool, send it to us. We'd love to see it. All right, so here's a snapshot of what your forecast holds. We're talking clearing skies overnight. Clear skies, light wind, a little bit of lingering moisture. That will lead to some near freezing, if not sub freezing temperatures across southern Arizona tomorrow. We'll give you a look at that Thanksgiving Day forecast. And you can't do that without looking at the Black Friday forecast, too. Here's what we're working with at the airport now. We talked about the light winds, right? The air right now is calm, 54 degrees. Our humidity, 72%. Went for a walk earlier this evening. I can still feel some of that moisture kind of hanging on in the air a little bit. Just not enough to bring us any more rain. We did pick up a trace of rain earlier at the airport. We had some spotty areas with some measurable rain, about 12 hundredths of an inch um, out in Corona de Tucson. Other areas recorded some measurable rain overnight, but not a lot to really write home to mom about. Our temperatures, however, However, going to start uh, dropping off very quickly here. 37 already for you in Oracle, 47 in Safford, 54 at this hour in Tucson, and that is down after our 64 degree high today. And that puts us seven below our average. Should be at about 71 this time of year. Started off at 50, and that's not too bad. We're normally at 44, but with that extensive cloud cover overnight, working as a blanket to keep in the heat that we did pick up yesterday. Kind of started the day on a warmer than normal note, but our afternoon high temps, 10 degrees almost 10 degree drop from yesterday's high to today. So out with the storm, in with clear skies. Here's a look at that low as it swings through. Man, this thing is moving quickly too. Uh, already has uh, passed its way through New Mexico and on the back side, now that's what we're concerned about moving in. Clear skies. So it's those clear skies, uh, the light winds that will lead to those near freezing temperatures by tomorrow morning. We're talking even sub freezing sub-freezing temperatures possible for some parts of southern Arizona. And we're mainly talking about Wilcox, Benson, Bisbee, even across Santa Cruz County, Nogales, uh, likely to see or feel temperatures below the freezing mark overnight. So you know what that means, right? You got to cover up, yeah, the plants. The pipes are wrapped, bringing the pets. You know the drill by now. Clear skies underneath this ridge of high pressure that continues to develop here. And you can see on our water vapor pretty well uh, how the this system is moving out, taking that moisture, the bright green, the bright white with it, those areas with more water vapor concentration, basically. And it's being filled in by this dry air here. It's color-coded in the orange and the black. And we don't really see that pattern changing much, uh, quite frankly, over the next 48 hours as this high pressure stays in control of our weather pattern. And then we start to see another system here late Wednesday night, just kind of lining up to bring us that wind back on Thursday, another chance for rain, and that chance for rain kind of hanging on a little bit Thursday, but really Thursday night into Friday. And for your Black Friday, midnight, 56. Yeah, we have to start it a little earlier since those businesses are opening earlier. At lunchtime, 61 when you're resting your feet and maybe checking that checkbook. And when you're loading up the car in the evening, 55, and then that 10% chance for rain throughout the day. Here's your seven day, 68 tomorrow, up to 74 Wednesday, and then again on Thanksgiving, 73, windy with a 20% chance for rain. Nick Duddleston, you are the winner of a brand new iPad 2. If you're not Nick, you can enter again on our Facebook page after midnight.